In this video, we'll take a look at sun and shadow studies on a building site with inside Revit and Atari. We'll take a look at how to set up the model, how to set up the sun path diagram, and how to read and interpret the result that we get out. And again, you will get an understanding of how we have used sun and shadow studies on this actual design project. I've now opened the conceptual environment with inside Vasari. And for this office building that we're going to use as case here from Henning Larsen Architects, we're going to look at how we can do shadow simulations for avoiding any kind of impact on these existing buildings here and how we can work with the massing here to make the right conditions for the interior space here and make sure that we don't create too much impact on the existing buildings. So the first thing I did was just to model a little mass here to really being able to see shadows a bit more effective in the intermediate area around the building. So right now, the sun path that I turned on here is really quite big, so that makes it pretty difficult to see it in relation to the intermediate area around the building. So what I want to do is I'm going to hide my area photo, I'm going to turn off my sun path, and I'm going to turn it on again like that. And you'll see that it's now cropped to the objects in the model. And then I can go turn on my side photo again. So this is a bit more effective. Just to quickly understand how the sun path is working, it's really working with the Celestian system, which are taking the foundation in a fundamental horizontal plane from the things that you can see on site to the horizon. And if we drag the sun, you'll see that the angle to from the horizon till seeing it is really determined the height of or the position of the sun throughout the different times of year. So here you're able to just you can see here and go in and click here and go to a specific period you want to look at or a specific time a year or you can simply just drag the sun. But to do this a bit more easy and get some of the extreme conditions of sun that we want to examine we can we can go down and we can go up here to say modify or manage, go to a perspective view. And with inside the perspective view, we are able to go down here and go to sun settings to specify the conditions we want to simulate. So if we want to look at summer solstice, winter solstice, and spring, and, and fall or spring, this will, because spring and fall will a lot of time be the same in the northern hemisphere. So what we're looking for is the summer solstice, winter solstice, and spring equinox. So we're looking at solar summer solstice. This is the time during the year where the sun angle or the sun will have the, the greatest angle to the earth and that means that we'll have the most daylight to our model. And of course in the winter where the sun is low, this is where we get some very long shadows. And then in the even conditions here, spring or fall is where day and the night have the same length. So we're just choosing, okay, we want to have a single day to look at a specific summer study here and we can just choose okay let's say maybe from from nine o'clock where people will be at the office till seven o'clock something like that okay that and let's take a 15 minutes interval just to take down the speed of the animation that of shadows that we're going to do in here so and and we can also choose the level where we want to look at our shadows. So let's just say OK. And we're now able to turn on the shadows and oh, turn off the shadows and go here and say preview solar study. And we can now do an animation for the extreme conditions during the summer month. As you'll see here, we're not conflicting with the context, with the environment. So what we did is really just to play around with the environment, making sure that we had the right amount of square meters, and then just make the heights here to get in, in this interior space here to get a lot of sun here, and to avoid inflicting with the other buildings here. So what we then have to examine is some of the other periods a year. So we go to sun settings, and we say, okay, let's look at a uh, spring here. Okay, from 10 to 16, okay. And we can now go and make an animation here. And we don't have any problems here, so we can check that out. Let's go to sun settings again and go to window solve. Let's have fall. Okay, but this is really just the way that you go about doing these simulations here to make sure that we don't have impact on the existing buildings here. Okay, 